Hi, my name is Britt Spears. I'm a certified prosthetist orthodist and a fellow of the American Academy of Orthodists and Prosthetists. Today's discussion is in, on bionics. Bionics is the marriage between artificial intelligence and prostheses. The term artificial intelligence refers to the ability of the software to think, learn, and react to certain situations. They will literally learn what the patient is doing during their gait cycle, um, such as various speeds, as well as powering through certain situations. There are three different types of lower limb um, bionic systems today that are readily available. Um, two of them are covered by Medicare <coughs> and private insurance and one is covered by workers' compensation only, the, and the Veterans Administration as well. The ones that are readily available to the general population, if qualified, are the proprio foot and ankle. The proprio foot and ankle is an electronic, electronically controlled um, foot and ankle. It has an energy storing foot attached to a motorized ankle unit. It will sense and react to certain walking speeds as well as ramps and inclines and going up and down in those situations. It will literally pick the toe of the foot up every step. It is a little heavier due to having mechanics as well as a battery utilizing the situ utilize to operate the system. However, everybody that we've placed them on in our bionic center in Memphis has stated to us that it actually does not seem any heavier than their older prosthesis. As a matter of fact, they say that it seems to be easier to get around and they don't notice the added weight because of the less use of having to hike up the prosthesis to clear the toe. It also helps them because it will vary the speed and it makes them to where they do not have to notice the terrain as much in order to walk through certain situations. Uh, the other type of bionic system that is utilized that is readily available through Medicare um, and private insurances is, is the Rio Knee, R-H-E-O. It is a hydraulically controlled knee that is controlled through the artificial intelligence and it has magnetic fluid in the hydraulics that react to a magnetic charge for either flexion or extension or a combination of both. So it's instant reaction. It is the fastest um, prosthetic knee out on the market. It has a lot of various situations that it can be utilized in. Um, the next bionic knee that we will can talk about is only covered through workers comp and the Veterans Administration. It is the power knee. It actually has a motorized unit that powers the knee back forward and in flexion as well. It does both flexion and extension through a power. It was designed by NASA or at least the knee motor was the knee motor is being used on the moon or on the Mars rovers. It's what motorizes the wheels on the units. So it is a very durable unit and it can actually power the prosthesis through leaves as well as sand, mulch, and various other situations. Um, all of these utilize an electronic charge. The proprio foot and ankle can last up to 18 hours of charge. The uh, Rio knee has the same amount of charge as well as the power knee which operates off of two six hour charged batteries. 
Now these are all lithium ion batteries, unlike the old NICAD batteries that used to be in the cell phones where they would degradate by being overcharged. These do not have that problem. In our bionic center in Memphis, we actually have the proprio foot in there and are able to try these on patients and everybody we've tried these on that are qualified for this level of prosthetic intervention loves the proprio feet. Um, the key benefit to the proprio foot is the fact that it's basically mindless on having to navigate through various situations. Um, thank you, Britt Spears.